We're now in Greenwood, Arkansas at the corporate headquarters of Farmers Bank. Today we're going to learn about their rich history, what's going on in the present, and what the future looks like for community banking. Today I'm here with Farmers Bank board members Ed Norman and Stan Hope Wilkinson in the W.N. Wilkinson Library and Boardroom at their home office in Greenwood. Gentlemen, thanks for having us today. Well, welcome. Glad to be here. Appreciate your being here with us and there could be no greater place to share the story of Farmers Bank and the Wilkinson family than right here in the Farmers Bank Boardroom. Ed, this room's named after the bank's founder, your grandfather, and it's full of history and mementos dating back to the beginning of Farmer's Bank. So let's take a step back to where it all started and tell us a little bit about that history. Yes, thanks. Uh, Farmer's Bank was uh, started here in Greenwood in 1907, and it uh, started on the north side of the square on the northeast corner in the store. And the very first deposit was a young boy, Boy Murphy, made a 38 cent deposit and we finished the uh, day with 83 cent profit and in fact we still have some of the ledger books from the uh, first uh, day all the way through of the uh, uh, showing the history of the bank and then also in this uh, room we have our uh, uh, original charter uh, we have the very first minute book of the uh, uh, bank's board of directors and uh, the uh, stockholder meeting we have uh, all of the records right here from the Farmer's Bank. And luckily, my parents never grew, uh, threw anything away, so we still have my grandfather's old roll top desk that he used when he was, when the bank was on the north side of the square, and uh, so many mementos here in the boardroom of the bank. Family-owned community banks are becoming more and more extinct. Tell us about the difference in personal relationship banking here at Farmer's opposed to large regional coast-to-coast -coast banking. Community banks provide personal banking that is tailored to their needs, to customers' needs. For example, a, a, a commercial uh, a, a bus businesses, uh, businesses can get personalized, tailored service that will help them be successful in their business. And the same with farmers and also with individuals. We tailor the uh, services we provide that perfectly suit their needs and enable them to be successful. I've uh found in many things I've done, you usually do better when you deal with people you know. Uh, I had a career in the uh, legal business before uh, being here at the bank, and it was very true in that. You, things work out better for you when you deal with people you know, and that's the way it is here. We know our customers, they know us. Like Ed said, it's tailored to them, but that is to me the difference in community banking. We're hometown bankers and this is our home. And we take pride in uh, helping our customers and our friends and our neighbors uh, to, to live their dreams and achieve their goals. Uh, it's something that uh, is very rewarding and very satisfying to see that and be a part of that. You know, you can get the uh, cutting edge technology right here at a community bank. Sometime in the past, I went through uh, uh, telling someone about that I had a bank account in, in the mid-1960s when I was just 10 years old and would actually write checks. And at those times, there were no account numbers on any of the checking accounts. People used counter checks and wrote the check. And I've watched, it. I remember how a big conversion when we finally uh, converted to account numbers. And now then, uh, I'm just sitting here and, and I just got a message on my phone, a text message that I just had a withdrawal from my account that I did before, right before I came in here. So you can get, I can log on to my account with my fingerprint, I can look up a check image. So when you say community banking, don't think that you're missing out on any of the modern cutting edge technology because you're not. We've got it all here at Farmers Bank. The community banking and personal relationship banking, and it reminds me of a, a story, a, the a lady came into the lobby and I told her just how very sorry I was that her husband had died. And she said, Ed, 
he just so loved banking here. He loved banking here. And I said, well, we loved him. And he, she said, she, she went through his things and the very first loan he had gotten when he was 16 years old, he got from my dad and my dad didn't know his name. He just typed on the note, Homer's son. And so that notion of personal relationship banking, it stays, it rings true here at the Farmers Bank. Albeit, information technology, regulations, and uh, the commercial uh, uh, bank, uh, and banking has changed in those ways, but the core personal relationship banking, ba taking care of customers that suit their needs with the products that they need doesn't change. We're taking care now of not just grandchildren, but five, four or five generations of customers now at Farmers Bank that we remembered their parents or grandparents and great grandparents. Well, we have uh, fourth generation employees uh, working at Farmers Bank. You don't have to look far to see the impact that Farmers Bank has had on this community. Can you tell us a little bit more about that? Right, it, it's, it's about service. And the hallmark of the Farmers Bank, the hallmark of the Wilkinson family is about service. Well, and, and, the, and service at the Farmers Bank means taking care of customers and taking care of the communities we serve. It take, service also means you might like, service in the uh, on the fire department Sir, in the in the local in the local fire department service means when going to war my dad served in world war ii uh, when he was working here at the farmers bank i served in uh, during desert storm and then during uh, the uh, global war on terror in theater so it's about service it's about uh, norman responding to the call to serve uh, when he was a judge in Sebastian County. So uh, there's a lot of ways to serve that the hallmark of the Wilkinson family, the hallmark of the Farmers Bank, boils down to service to our customers, service to the communities, and sharing our wealth with the communities we serve. For example, you, you, we, we are very supportive of the schools we serve, we're supportive of the towns, and uh, that we do get it, it, it's, it, it's sharing our wealth with our communities. There's so many ways to serve the community other than financial services. Ed and I have together 50 years of service on the volunteer fire department and really it's what, what your interests are and it's what uh, your talents are, your time, uh, will allow, uh, because it's unlimited, the number of ways you can serve the community. The founder of the Farmers Bank, W.N. Norman Wilkinson, served many years on the Greenwood School Board. He served on the school board while my dad was going to school in all 12 grades here in Greenwood, in the house where I grew up and where I live now with my family. And so, uh, it go, the service that has, has started at the very beginning at, at commitment and of service. We've talked a lot about the past and present. Now let's talk about the future of Farmers Bank. Where do you see Farmers Bank in the coming years and how will information technology influence your trademark of personal banking here at Farmers? Farmers Bank will continue to be successful because we concentrate on the customers and our employees. If you have uh, well-trained, happy, friendly employees, they're going to take great care of the customers and that's the way to succeed is to always take care of your customers and providing them all the services they uh, expect in banking, which we do. Well, gentlemen, thanks one more time for having us today. We loved coming in and hearing about the history and hearing about the future of Farmers Bank. Thank, Thank you. Thank you for coming and visiting with us.